In today's video, I'm going to put together a kit. It's a TS905 crystal oscillator tester combination frequency counter. I got it from China for, I think, around $10, thereabouts. Um, so I probably can't expect too much from this. Not too long ago, I did a test where I actually tested some frequent, so, excuse me, where I actually tested some crystals the old-fashioned way using a function generator and an oscilloscope. Thereafter, I found out they make these, so I went ahead and I ordered this. Um, I got the kit with the clear plastic case, the housing. Um, came with, looks like it can be USB powered. You get a little USB cable here, and I think you can run this thing from 5 to 12 volts DC. You can hook it up to a DC power supply. Um, with a little terminal here and the little circuit board here is actually it's shouldn't be difficult at all there's even the parts or even uh, the silk screens even get labeled you can see like it says here R, R5, R6, R7, R8 so that's basically that's going to be pretty easy um, you also get a little booklet here shows the component layout that's nice you get a little a little table here which shows the parts and their values like for example it says here c4 and c5 are ceramic capacitors with a value of 22 picofarads and regardless of the polarity means it doesn't matter which way they go in and you get some kind of weird sounding english here like i'll read this um Three is the welding installation considera considerations follow these steps. The components are welding the front board from low to high principles, namely the first low welding components such as crystals, capacitors, resistor diode, round hole, row of, row of seats, etc. Um, then it says, for example, here, number three, the back with the diagonal cutting pliers to cut to cut short the pins as far as possible. Okay, we can kind of understand that. Um, yeah, so it's all this um, very unusual English, like somebody used machine translation um, to do this. But it's, I don't think I'll have a problem putting it together. It says, namely, the first low welding components, that means the components that are lower to the board than for example the components that are higher like that so and one more thing you also have a little the schematic diagram which is cool you could of course um scan i could probably scan this thing and then print it out larger so and something about doing something to using some kind of jumpers here but i'm going to go ahead and do Take a look at that once I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and put it together now. There's no um, sense of me having a camera on or even doing like a um, speeding the cam speeding the video up. Uh, if I run into any problems or anything or anything is odd, I'll go ahead and mention it as soon as I put this thing together. So I managed to put the circuit board together. It was actually took me a little bit um, because everything's so small the pads are really small the solder pads um, you know there's a, a schematic diagram that comes with this and a circuit layout diagram so it's really not any kind of a problem whatsoever um, and what I like here is you can do this has a barrel jack kind of uh, adapter here and you can just push this in here which I'm going to fire up in a second. Let's see what the instructions say. Um, it says, after the check, the electricity, the fourth digital tube displays zero. Said the insulation was successful. Now that's really lousy translation. Um, but I think it means the fourth, the fourth LED segments one, two, three, four. I think that should light up, okay, huh. and display zero, and of course it displays zero, so that's a good thing so far. 
Um, once I soldered everything here, I just went, I took a Q-tip and uh, isopropyl alcohol and cleaned everything off. Um, it's not like a super soldering job, okay, but the older you get, the worse you get. Uh, but that's mostly like eyesight related. So let me go ahead and get a, a crystal here. So here we go with the crystal. I only managed to find two of them. I don't know what happened to the other ones. This one is a 7.2 megahertz crystal. And the crystal we put in, these are the little test jacks for the crystals. So, not that easy here, getting that in here. The fact is, it was 7.26, so that is 7,263,000, and it's supposed to be 7,200,000, uh, so it's off by 600,000, so it's not, this thing is not very accurate. I don't think this is, uh, it's a crystal problem. I think I tested, probably tested these crystals before, not too long ago I did a video, but I used a different method of testing, okay. Let me go ahead and see what this is here. It's a, well, I got to bring the light over here. I can't see it. 4.332, I believe. Okay. So, um, the only problem I have is seeing this here. I got to bring your light really close and then if I do that then you won't be able to see because of the camera uh, I mean it'll the light will be too bright for the camera so 4.39 so that's off somewhat um, that's not very good accuracy at all well I guess you get what you pay for again I don't think it's the crystals as far as I remember I had checked some of these before and they were fairly on point. I think they were um, within 0.1%. I'm not exactly 100% sure. No, but this is off. I guess this unit would be, it would be okay to use, but don't you wouldn't expect um, high accuracy with this thing. So let me go ahead and um, put the case here um, together. Now another thing I want to point out is uh, upon putting this thing together there's a total of eight screws and eight nuts and there are four little screws holding the circuit board to the bottom plate and I thought those screws were too short so I replaced them with some screws I had laying around here and also um, once you put the this uh, clear plastic case on here, you notice now, like for example here, the um, test jacks here for the crystal for the crystals is way down in there. You know, I can get like for example, I can get this one down in there. So unless it's new, like I salvage a lot of parts, I couldn't even get to it. I have to. I'm going to have to use this thing with the um, top off here. Because, like, for example, this one's got short leads now. Came from a circuit board. I cannot even get that get that down in there. I just want to point that out if you're putting this thing together. Now, this unit's also supposed to work as a frequency counter. For this, we're supposed to switch this jumper around. And then, um, I've already attached two wires to the terminals here. One terminal's labeled in. So, of course, I use a red wire as the signal input. The other terminal is labeled ground here. Um, and I use a black wire as the ground. Now I'm going to attach a test lead here from my signal generator. And right now I've got a 1000 hertz sine wave at about 1 volt RMS. So I did a little something there. Okay, and we've got nothing. I have a right connection here. 
Um, let me go ahead and turn the voltage up. Two volts. Okay, looks like it's working at two volts. Uh, if I turn it down to 1.5. Um, no, 1.5 is, I'm almost at 1.6, what about 1 point, nope, 1.7, so at about 1.7 volts here, or rather 1.8 volts around there, it's starting to work, so it's not very sensitive, I mean, it can be used, um, but you definitely have to have a higher amplitude, um, signal coming in. Let me go ahead, so that's a thousand hertz, that's what it says on my HP 3325 um, generator, and you can bet that's correct. So we'll go up to 10,000 hertz now, or rather 11,000 hertz, and it's showing me 10,900, oh, okay. So it's pretty, it's actually more more accurate than I thought it would be. Let me go up to a hundred thousand hertz, or rather one hundred and eleven thousand hertz. Okay, it's showing one hundred ten thousand ninety nine. So it's not bad, I would say. Only thing is, it's not that sensitive with the input voltage. Um, so, so much for that. And we put it back in the Crystal frequency. Let me try a crystal again. Um, earlier I was playing around with these buttons here and it looks like it's some kind of a you can get into some kind of a frequency mode, but I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, get myself involved with that. I got too many projects to do. Let's try this again. So why do we have nothing? Okay, now it's 7.1982, which is a lot better than it was last time. So, me playing around with these buttons, maybe I zeroed something out. Um, well, you can see here, if, if this is the, if this is going to be the true accuracy in the future, I guess it's not a bad little kit then. I have to change my opinion a little bit. Um... I would say that's still that's pretty close. This is 7.2 uh, megahertz crystal, and it's 7.198. So, uh, yes, as far as this is concerned, you go. I think into a little. It goes into programming functions. But again, I'm not going to get myself involved in that. In fact, I discovered that on a website because I didn't. The instructions don't even mention the. Uh, this button here because I knew it had to be there for something right so uh, once I go ahead and make a little write-up I'll go ahead and post a link to where I found the information at so actually uh, it's not not bad too bad I can't find any more crystals uh, crystals um, and also the that little um, socket down there for the to check the crystals, it's way too low. It would have to be brought up um, a lot higher. That's one one fault it is. Of course, I could always use it without the uh, acrylic top on, or rather, and the sides, I guess. That would be one solution for now. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. I didn't want to make a super long video. I think there are other videos about this thing out there. There always are when some kind of new Chinese uh, little gadget comes out. Every, a lot of people get these things and they make videos. I'm not a big fan of buying this kind of stuff and making videos. So I hope this wasn't too uh, boring. Again, overall, now, with this accuracy now that it's displaying, I would go ahead, I could go ahead and recommend this little kit. Um... Yeah, I think that would be, that would be it. Thanks for watching.